narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. No way. We'll be in rapping kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potatoes. Take, take out. No monkey in the jungle, fly high like a sauna. Bouncing off and I'm trying to weep and the con. Jumping in the water, trying to sniff across the water glass. Yeah. Yeah. Boys, I got me beat by for run out. Bag it, bag of money, knew I gotta have it. Savage, but I'm still a gentleman in the Cali. Cali. my channel if you're new my name is Kaylee I just finished getting ready well actually I'm not fully ready yet I wanted to show you guys a new curling wand that I just bought so I got this thing it's the foxy bay curling wand and it comes in three with three different like heads so this is like I think two inches or an inch and a half and then this is an inch and then I have the other one here, which I'm gonna use today. This is like three quarters of an inch. I don't know if I love it yet, to be honest. I've only used it once, and I was just testing it out, so I don't really know if the curls are gonna stay all day or whatever, but that's the main reason I got this, because my other one I have, which is just like a basic Revlon, I think is what it is. This one, it's like super popular. You can get it at Target for like $20, 25 bucks, but this one doesn't hold my curls well at all. They fall within an hour or two. So I wanted to get one with like better plates. So this is made out of titanium ceramic, I believe. And the review said that, actually before you plug it in, you should probably undo it. The review said that the curls lasted all day, even in humidity and all of that. So I'm hoping that's true and that's the case. So this is my last day in Arizona before I fly back home for the holidays. So I figured I would just vlog it and show you guys like me getting ready, me packing and everything to go home. But anyways, what I was saying is for this little curling wand, you just turn it to unlock and then you pull it out. It's like that simple. So let's put the little one in. You just put it down and then turn it to lock it. Okay, what else am I doing today? I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'm super excited because I haven't had my nails done in a long time, but I just want them done for the holidays. I think they'll look pretty and yeah, I love doing my nails. I used to always do my nails. Like in high school, I would have to have my nails done and in college, I'd have to have my nails done and then I just like fell off <laughs> once I became a real adult, but I'm excited to go get them done. And then I'm doing something really exciting that I've never done before. I'm trying Dunkin' coffee for the first time. I've heard good things about it, but I've also heard that Starbucks is better, but I don't like Starbucks at all. Like it's just the worst, most terrible coffee ever. So I hope that Dunkin' is better. We'll see though. I don't know. Haters, please don't come at me for saying Starbucks sucks, but like 
Once you've had real good coffee, Starbucks just tastes like processed, watered down, sugary coffee. Like it's not good. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had a good, like a really good Starbucks coffee. Whereas like if I go to a specialty coffee shop or whatever, like that's good coffee. You know what I mean? Anyway, enough about Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying Dunkin' and I'm really excited because they actually have them here in Arizona. I didn't have them back in Washington. And when I was in California, I like never went to try one. I didn't care back then, but now I care. Do you see how much lighter? Remember when I dyed my hair? Do you see how much lighter my hair already has gotten? Kind of makes me sad, but I'm re-dyeing it tonight. So that's going to be in this vlog as well. And then yeah, I'm peacing out tomorrow and saying goodbye Arizona, even though I really don't want to leave. Like I love it here. I really love it here. <laughs> So I'm gonna put in some oil. I'm really just doing this to test out the size that this smaller wand, like the size curl that this smaller wand makes. So I haven't tested out this small one yet. I don't love that oil, by the way. It's like the Olaplex, Olaplex oil, and I'm not the biggest fan for my type of hair, at least. It just doesn't really do much for me. But Okay, let's test out this. Oh, snap, it's curly. Ow. Okay, yeah, so this is like the perfect size for when my hair is natural because the curls match the curl size of my natural hair. My hair's like a few days old right now, so not the cutest, but oops. What is it with like when I'm vlogging, like when I'm filming myself, I have the most chaotic energy. Like, I don't know if you saw my last vlog, but I had the most chaotic energy in that vlog. Granted, at one point I was drinking a little wine, but like, I drop everything and just <laughs> knock over everything when I'm filming, so. You're welcome for the show. Okay. I'm not trying to do too much here. Like, I'm just focused on the front. I'm literally just leaving the house to get my nails done and try Dunkin'. So, I don't really care what I look like, to be honest. This video better be up before Christmas. If it's not, I'm gonna be upset. But I'm so busy when I go home, like, I don't have a second to breathe. Obviously, everyone wants to spend time with me, and I want to spend time with everybody. And then Christmas is this week on su Saturday, so I don't know if I'm going to have time to edit this video. Because I actually have a few other videos to edit before this one <laughs> that's going up. So this might be a after-the-holiday Christmas video. <laughs> but it's fine. Oh yeah, okay, so when I worked out this morning, I was working out and everything was great. You guys saw me on the treadmill. And then a guy came in and took over the weights I needed and like the area I usually work out. So I didn't film my workout, which I was hoping to put in this video. It's like a really good, like really quick and easy too, booty and leg workout that I like to do. And you can do at home if you have weights. But yeah. He came and took over, basically, so I didn't want to film the way I had to improvise, you know? Like, I want to film the legit thing, so I'm gonna do that in my next video, I hope. It's just, n you never know with apartment gyms who's gonna be there or what time to go so that you can get the place mostly to yourself and get all the equipment that you need, you know? So, we'll see. I'm sorry about that. I really, really wanted it in this video. And this is what my hair looks like after using it really quickly. I like it. I think it looks good. Let's just see if it holds and at least better than the Revlon one. Okay guys, I have something very embarrassing to show you guys. Actually, I don't know if it's embarrassing, but I've been <laughs> collecting some items here. So this is all, I think, I'm pretty sure all of it is clothes. I've been placing so many orders ever since Black Friday. So I've just kind of been stockpiling things. So later in this video, we are going to do a huge massive unboxing try on haul of all of this while I pack for going home because I know I'm gonna bring some of this home but then I also need to decide what I'm returning if I'm returning anything yeah I kind of went a little crazy shopping I just I needed new clothes I'm like not obsessed with my closet and my wardrobe and I just need clothes that actually feel like me and make me feel good so yeah we're gonna unbox all of that later but yeah let's go to Duncan and let's go get our nails done I'm excited like so excited for both of these things so let's go let me know in the comments what is your favorite drink from Dunkin'? Like I don't even know what to get. Hi, can I do a 16 ounce iced vanilla latte with oat milk? Hey guys, let's try it. First taste test of Dunkin'. Mmm. 
I don't like it. Oh, that's so fucking sweet. Oh no, I'm spilling. I see why people like this more than they like um, Starbucks because it's like definitely a different taste. It is so sweet, like 20 times sweeter than Starbucks. And this tastes like a freaking like um, cake. Would I get it again? Yes, if like I'm on a road trip and Dunkin's the only thing around. Would I pick it over Starbucks? Sometimes, maybe, I don't know. I'd say they're very equal, but in different ways. But would I like just say, mm, I want Dunkin'? No, I would never do that. <laughs> um, but it's okay, it's fine. It's like tolerable. Okay guys, literally, why do nail salon, salons, salons take so long? Like I was in there for over, actually exactly an hour, but I love my nails so much. They're really pretty, I really love the color. Ooh, let's go, bitch. I don't know what it is about nail salons either. Like I literally felt like I was gonna pass out the whole time. The smell in there is so bad. Tell me if any of you guys get this way, but when you like feel like you're about to pass out, do you ever just feel like you're like a robot almost and you're not in control of your body? Like you're in a dream, like a dreamlike state, but like to the extreme and you're like, whoa, am I even here right now? Like, does that make sense? Do, do any of you guys feel that way? Anyway, update on Duncan. This is how much I drank. It's not good. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just got home from the nail salon. I don't know if you guys saw a good view of it in the car, but I'm literally obsessed. I love them so much. Like they're exactly what I wanted. It's called Berry something and it's a gel polish. I forget, like Berry, Berry Blast or something. I don't know. I also tried Duncan for the first time like you guys saw and I absolutely don't like it. Like the first sip was okay. And then I kept drinking it and I was just like, I can't get this down. Like I'll show you guys. This is how much I drank. Like obviously the ice melted a little bit, so I drink maybe a little more than that. So I figure now is a good time to do my little haul because I want to start packing. Okay, so welcome to my collective haul of shit that I've been buying recently. So we're gonna literally go through everything that I've bought within the past month, minus something that I bought for my bedroom because I'm gonna do a separate video on like my bedroom makeover so that's gonna be in a different video but yeah let's just start with zara so this is from their black friday sale i think it was just like 20 percent off or something i only got two things from there so i got this really adorable green puffy sherpa kind of jacket i thought it was really cute and i got this in an extra small i wanted a small but they were sold out online so i just went with the extra small i'll try all these on too especially when i'm like packing for home and everything so you guys can see them on but yeah, it's super cute, super like thick, but also like not super warm, but it's definitely warmer, but like a cute little oversized jacket. I think that'd be cute with like a full black outfit underneath and like little black booties or I don't know, just like a cute winter thing that's not just like a basic coat, you know? So I got that. And then this, I decided I'm going to return. I've tried this on already. But it's just like this oversized shirt. It's like a really beautiful color, like a slate gray with a hint of blue but it's just so long like so long i couldn't get it to work with anything i wanted i wanted this to like wear with leggings but it literally goes down to like further than the back of my knees it's so long it's insane so yeah and it's an extra small so i'm gonna be returning this but yeah i had high hopes for that but it is like really good like high quality material so if you guys are looking for that vibe then by all means that's it but for me it just didn't work out so from abercrombie i haven't even opened this yet but i'm guessing it's a pair of jeans no oh it's more than i expected okay so we have hold on let me open all of these gotta run into that okay so this it's just three different shirts it looks like. So this first shirt is this really cute rust red type color, but really cute square neck top, like so freaking adorable. I really hope this fits because it's so cute. And by the way, I pretty much got everything in an extra small. So this is an extra small, but oh my God, I love, I really hope this fits, please fit. But yeah, super cute, love that. Would be really cute with like black skinny jeans or regular jeans, like flare jeans maybe or something but beautiful, especially for like holiday, winter season. So love that, I hope it fits. <laughs> and then, oh, I just got this like basic, also an extra small, but this basic little silky tank top with lace detailing and a little button and stuff. In my, one of my previous Abercrombie & Fitch hauls, I have, I think the exact same tank top 
in like a purpley color. But yeah, I love it and I love them. So I got a cream one. And then, what is this? I don't even know. Oh, okay, so it's also like a square neck. Wow, this one's really pretty. Also an extra small, but a black square neck, little top. It looks a little big, so I'm a little worried, but I hope it fits. But oh my gosh, this is so cute. I literally, I don't even remember buying this. <laughs> the back is a little see-through, and then it has a little ruche detailing on the back to like kind of suck you in. I love that. So we have to try those on later. And then I went to the store itself in the mall and picked up a few things. I went for like one thing, and I ended up picking up way more than I went in for. So the first thing is actually this black bodysuit that I'm wearing right now. I love this. I love the material. It fits perfect. I ended up going up a size. So for me, I'm usually an extra small, but I got this in a small and I'm really happy I did that because it's a lot more comfortable. But yeah, I love it. And I also went a little crazy and bought, well, I'm tripping. In here. Okay. I can't find a shirt that I literally put in that bag. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. When I got home, my patio door was wide open and I'm confused because I definitely shut it. Like I swear I shut it and I don't know if I locked it, but I swear I locked it and shut it and it can't, it's open It <laughs> all over the place. It was open when I got home. And so I looked around to see like, is anything stolen and nothing looks stolen, but now I can't find this shirt that I know for a fact I threw in this bag this morning. So I'm just a little confused. But anyway, it was like a really cute green bodysuit. I was really excited for that. Okay, anyway, so the second thing I got at the Abercrombie and Fitch store is this denim jacket with like a Sherpa collar. And guys, this was in the men's section. So I got an extra small in men's, but it fits oversized because it is men's. And I'm literally obsessed with it, like the baggy look. Like I was looking for a woman's in this and I just couldn't find it. And it just like was there like this was the only one in the store and it was an extra small and everything and I was like that's it that's for me it's really cute and it's super thick and warm you wouldn't expect it to be but the inside is like a jackety so it's pretty thick but yeah it's definitely super warm so I can wear this when I go home back to Washington this will definitely keep me warm and it's super cute I've realized lately I really enjoy getting like masculine like more masculine type clothes and like putting a feminine touch to it so like getting something like this, but then dressing it up into a really feminine look. So like wearing black leggings with like black booties and like a cute silky shirt underneath or whatever, just to like dress it up, but then have one piece that's more masculine. I don't know, like that I have realized is my style. It's just like what I feel most comfortable in and what I think looks really cute. So anyway, so that's the first thing from the store itself. And then I kind of fucking, I'm so confused like where that shirt go. And then I got two sweaters, so I was going to originally just get this one, a little salt and pepper kind of colored sweater, and it's pretty thick and super warm. It has like a neck that you don't really fold over, but for me, I like to fold it over. But you can wear it both ways, like up or folded over a little bit. And this is their legging something sweater, because it's supposed to go with leggings and it covers your butt a little bit and all of that. So yeah, I really, really liked this, and in the store I tried it on with this over it and I thought it was a really cute little outfit. So I got this, but then this one, so this color is like, I guess a brown color, like a taupe top, however you say that, a taupe color. And it's just like more soft, but it's weird because it's the same sweater. But this one is so soft, like I just, I couldn't pass it up. So I got this one as well. Yeah, I really like both. I think I'm gonna have to end up returning one just because I feel like wild spending all this money and getting all these new clothes at once. <laughs> a little crazy, Kaylee, but it's okay. And then moving on, let's do Target really fast because, guys, oh wait, here's the thing. I found it, okay, so this is the bodysuit I'm talking about, ignore the deodorant marks on the shirt. It was from trying it on in the fitting room. But yeah, it's just super cute. I love this color for the winter time right now. Like, I feel like this is just like the in color. I bought a dress for, more clothes I'm waiting on. Um, but I bought a dress for New Year's, the same color, and I'm just in love with this color. I don't know what it is. So from Target, I needed some basic clothes. I recently picked up a part-time shift as a barista because I'm new to the area. I've always wanted to work as a barista, 
And by part-time, I mean like six hours a day and like three shifts a week. But anyway, I'm new to the area and I figured it's like the perfect way to meet people and to get my like social up, you know? What I do for work is like all by myself, like at home on the computer, either YouTube or my online business. So it's like all very alone like a lonely job i love it it's the most creative thing i've done and it's the thing i have felt like the happiest doing obviously but i just wanted something that would like get me out to meet people since none of my friends live here so i was like you know what i'm gonna get a part-time job as a barista because i feel like it would just be so fun i'd have a little bit extra spending cash and I can learn how to make coffee like I've always wanted to do. I don't know, and I think that's also what's kind of turning me into a co coffee snob lately because I had my first shift like a few days ago and I actually tried good coffee and had really good coffee. It's called Cartel Coffee Roasting. It's just like this little roasting company that's based out of Arizona. It's very specialty and it's so freaking good. So anyways, it's like turning me into a little bit of a snob. And I had my first pour over and it was so good. Like, so freaking good. It's the best job in the world. I don't know. I've only had one shift, but I really enjoyed it. It's also helpful, too, because, like, you have to be happy the whole time. And, like, you're constantly talking to people and customers and then your fellow baristas. And it's just, like, something I definitely need in my life right now is to get out and be active and talkative and meet people and be around people. So I think it'll be really good for me. We'll see how long it lasts. Just kidding, it should last a while. I really do enjoy it and I feel like it's a fun little like thing to do. And it's nice to also like schedule my week around a schedule finally because I've been doing this online thing for over a year now where I haven't had any type of schedule and I definitely do a little bit better when I have some sort of schedule I have to follow. So yeah, even though it's only three days a week, it's like a nice little, it's a nice little thing to get me out of the house. That's all I'm saying. Okay, rant over. So I had to get a couple things. I don't wanna wear like cute, cute cute clothes you know because like you're working with coffee you maybe will spill or whatever so i just needed really simple comfy but cute basics so i got this sweatshirt they were having like 20 percent off their clothes and their clothes at target are already pretty cheap this is 20 bucks and i got it for 20 percent off so it was like 16 dollars or something but it's super cute i really like the back it has like a slouchy look to it i got this in a medium i believe yeah i got this in a medium but it kind of fits like a small honestly yeah i just got this to wear with some jeans for work <laughs> and then i got a basic this is a size extra small but just like a basic t-shirt also for work and then guys i got so happy so happy when i found these shirts so i saw this one first and it was like out of place like on a different rack and it's just a silky shirt and i'm so obsessed because it's perfect it's brown i love the color so much it fits a little oversized and i got this in a size small but yeah it's just so chic and cute and it's pretty thick so it's perfect for like winter fall time but these look so cute like under sweaters or under like I wore it under this jacket the other day and it looked super cute yeah it's just like a nice way to just elevate your style I really like silky looking shirts and everything I think it's super adorable and then I got the cream one in a size large because I wanted something a little more oversized as well I really like oversized things but then also so it can go under my sweaters that are a little bit bigger and still like peek out the bottom you'll see what I mean when I pack for home and do my little try on and everything but yeah and I really liked when I was in the fitting room I really really liked how the large fit so yeah I got a large and a size small okay and that's it for Target and then let's do Urban Outfitters so first I got this, this little flannel, but it came with a hole in it, which I'm a little bummed about. Yeah, there's a hole somewhere on this. I was gonna go ask them about it and see if that's normal. <laughs> Cause I think this is one of their like recycled ones. So I don't know if it's normal for it to have a hole in it, but maybe it is. Oh yeah, it's right here. So there's a little hole back here somewhere. So yeah, I was gonna go tell them that there's a hole and then maybe return it, but like I don't know, whatever, it's fine. I really like it and I don't have the time to go do that. So I think I'm just gonna keep it. But then I also got this little beanie, which is so cute. It's perfect, so cute, goes with so many outfits. I just needed something for going home because it's like 30 degrees there right now and it's supposed to snow while I'm there. So I just need to be warm because I'm getting very used to this 70 degree weather every day. Oh, and then I got these little gloves at Target. I just found them, but they were like $3. And then the other flannel I got at Urban, this is part of their Urban Renewal Collection. This is this oversized blue one, which I actually don't like at all. So I'm definitely gonna be returning this. I just don't like the color. It's just very washed looking and just like, 
I could buy this at Goodwill for like two dollars, you know? So I don't love it and it it literally smells like Goodwill too. <laughs> I feel like they just went to Goodwill and found this. But it also has like bleach dyed on it. Why is this a thing? Why are we buying recycled clothes for non-recycled prices? I don't understand. Like this is tagged at $49. <laughs> That's wild. All right, and then American Eagle. I just got underwear. I'm pretty sure that's all I got in here. But yeah, they were having like a super good sale, like 10 or 12 or something for like 30 bucks. So yeah, I just got a bunch of different underwear in there. And then let's do shoes and then we'll do Shein. And I think that's it. So guys, I went a little crazy. Like I, I'm just like very, whatever, I'll just spend money when I know I can return it. And it's like, I know I'm gonna end up returning it unless if I'm literally in love with it, like for things that are expensive. <laughs> but anyways, I was on the market for black shoes. And every time I went to the store, they were either sold out or I just couldn't find a cute pair, like a normal pair of black boots. So yeah, I was kind of at a loss and I found these online during Black Friday or Cyber Monday, one of those sales. So I ended up splurging a little bit and buying them, but it's okay because I think I'm going to return them. They're just these little shoes. I don't even like how they fit and they're actually pretty uncomfortable. Like you think that coach would be comfortable but it wasn't that comfortable, but they're very freaking cute and adorable. And I love how they have really good traction on the bottom. And I liked the little C logo. But yeah, these cute little booties and they're real leather, which I kind of want to avoid. But yeah, they're super cute and like very stylish. Like I do really like them. I just am going to return them because they're not anything special and they're not comfortable. I honestly thought I was gonna like these better than the other ones I got, but I actually liked the other ones better, which were a little cheaper, which I'll show you. But yeah, so these are just gonna be returned, which is great because they were over $100, but yeah, they are super cute. And I had a vision for them, but they're just like not worth it to me. I'm not that impressed. So then the shoes, I got these at Macy's by the way, but the shoes that I am keeping that I absolutely love and I've already worn are these booties. So literally exactly what I wanted. A nice thick heel that isn't too high. I like the toe, cause I don't like the super pointy ones, but I do like the rounded toe. And then the height of them is perfect. It's all perfect. And I love how it kind of goes in right here because when you put them on, it makes it look a lot more feminine, if that makes sense. Versus the ones that just go straight up and they're just like thick and weird. I like how this hugs your heel. It's just, yeah, very feminine. So yeah, I love these. I love that they're fully black. No weird silver, like gold detail, so it won't clash with like any outfit or any jewelry I'm wearing or whatever. But literally perfect, I'm obsessed, I love these. Okay, and then finally Shein, which, ugh, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> so I haven't tried all of these on yet, but I have tried a majority on. So the first thing, at Shein were these skirts. So I bought three different black skirts because I wanted one for going out during winter and I really like the look of like a black skirt with a sweater or something like some cute top and then like tights. So I know Shein and I know that sometimes their stuff is just not gonna look right or not fit right or not be exactly what you wanted it to be. So I got three different ones knowing that I could return what doesn't work out and I'm really happy I did because only one of them worked and it was this fake looking leather one with a little slit in it. Yeah, super cute. I loved how it looked and which is funny because this is the one that I almost didn't buy, but it fits the best. It's like perfect on the waist, perfect on the legs, not too short, but not too long. Yeah, so I loved this one. And then the other one I bought was this like more silky one with a slit. It was way too big. I don't like how it fit. It was not flattering on my body at all. And then I got this one, which is just like a weird, I don't even know how to explain it, but like this type of material also has a slit. And this one was just too long and I didn't like the top area. It like just doesn't sit anywhere good on your body or anything. And then I honestly think I'm probably never gonna order from Shein again. Like maybe, I know I probably will, but I just don't love it. After going to like better quality stores and then <laughs> comparing it to Shein, I'm just like, that's not it. They always make their pictures online look like really good and like how the girls style it and how they wear it. And then when you get it, you're just like, what is this piece of cloth? Or like, what is this weird piece of fabric? <laughs> but anyway. I got this because it was super stylish and looked super cute online. It's just a little sweater with a collar. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it yet because 
you'll see when I try it on, but it's like nothing special, but maybe I can make it special. I don't know. So we'll see. And then I got this little sweater vest because I loved how it was styled online, but I thought it'd be cute with just like a full black outfit, like black jeans or something. But then the more I think about it, the more I realize it's not very practical because when you're cold, you don't want your arms to like be free, you know? You want a full on sweater. So I feel like this is just weird it seems like more cute than anything but we'll see i'm gonna try it on and play with it a little and maybe wear it over a shirt or something and then i got this little like see-through black top it was super cheap and i really liked how like sexy it looked on the models but we'll see of course because it is shein but it's just like the most basic see-through black top just to put over a nice black bra or bralette for going out i think it'd be really cute second to the last i got I hate this by the way, like I've tried it on, I don't like it, but it's this green sweater. It kind of reminds me of like school outfit vibes, like a, what's it called? Uniform. Yeah, I don't know, I don't love it. And the material, like it's just not great quality. It's okay, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I got this. It was cute online. I didn't love it on. I feel like I looked like a toddler. And then lastly, out of everything, I got haven't tried this on yet, but I got this really pretty and it's really soft actually, but this cute little like shirt sweater, a green color, possibly for Christmas. It was really cute and nice looking on the model. So I wanted to try it, but yeah, I thought that was cute. So I think that's everything. <laughs> that was a lot. Now I just need to go and pack and figure out my outfits and figure out what I'm wearing. I really enjoy like trying to plan out outfits first so that when you're traveling or when you're there, you're not worried about if you have the right clothes or if you have the right outfits for a certain occasion or whatever. I just like planning ahead of time and only bringing what I need. It allows me to like not overpack and then also not underpack. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that now and bring you guys along. Yeah, here is the literal disaster. This is the mess, the literal mess. <laughs> I went crazy, like I shouldn't have bought all of those. Guys, so I had a package notification and and i had no idea what it was but i just saw it and it's these towels from um bed threads or no can't under the canopy and i've been waiting on these for four weeks and they finally came these are 100 percent organic cotton bath towels i read an article i talked about this in a previous video but i read an article where 100 percent organic cotton and then linen are like two of like the best type of materials you can get. I'll link the article below. It's like kind of spiritual, but kind of makes sense like on a science point of view or whatever. But yeah, so I wanted to grab some bath towels that were actually good. So I got two green ones and I think this color will be really pretty in the bathroom. So yeah, but I waited literally four weeks for these to get to me. I think FedEx just has issues honestly because I lost a package, like a huge order from American Eagle. My neighbor actually ended up stealing it. So it's great but I think she ended up taking it saying like her name was my name or something because it's the only thing that makes sense when like I put the stories together. But basically FedEx just like gave her the package and it was downstairs in our mail room. So I feel like if so, they should have like shown, had her show ID or something, I don't know. But anyways, these were also shipped with FedEx and they took four weeks to get here. Every time I checked like the tracking number, it kept saying in route, but like said Arizona, Arizona, like it was here. It just wasn't being delivered for like over a week. But anyway, let's go put them up. I think they'll look very nice. I'm really over this yellow. I don't know why I ever thought this was a good idea. I do still like the lavender. I'm just over the yellow. I waited for that package for so long. I literally complained to their customer service and I, I do actually, I am one to do that, so never mind. Maybe they do that so like you won't return it. <laughs> like by the time you get it, it's already past the return date and past the like even caring to return it date. I bet that's what it is. <laughs> they purposely tell FedEx, make this take 30 business days to get to her, please. <sighs> Just kidding. Oh yeah, I do really like it. It's pretty. Yeah, that color really works in here because I think the green really looks nice with like the darker colored. Yeah, it looks nice. It matches nice with the greenery over here. My little green soap. Yeah, and then I think pink and green go really well together. So like my pink sign up there matches well. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Okay. Hey. 